Welcome back to Parsnips and Parsimony. Today I'm going to show you how we're making our potato gardens or potato buckets or whatever you want to call them. This method we've been using for two years now and it has been very effective for us. We are using it again this year primarily because we have a black walnut tree near our garden and if you guys know anything about black walnuts they have a is it a tannin in them? Yeah, some, it's a chemical, chemical that reacts with nightshades. So your tomatoes, your eggplant, your peppers, and your potatoes. You cannot plant near a black walnut because of this chemical reaction that they it kills the plants. So by elevating our potatoes and growing them in buckets, we're still able to use this really sunny spot near a black walnut tree without risking damage to our plants. But I want to show you how we're making these buckets and how you can do it too. It's a great resourceful way to grow your potatoes reusing something that otherwise you just throw in the trash. So any big garbage can will work. Most of these are partly broken so this is a great way to reuse what we have and Art's just taking a knife here and cutting out the bottom of the garbage can. You can see we actually have a whole pile of them. Local folks in our community were getting rid of these because they were broken and we have been looking for several years for more broken cans and they're serving a dual purpose of still being able to use part of my garden and reusing uh, a product that was otherwise going to go in the trash. The box knife will not work on all of these. I think I'm going to go get my uh my uh, saber saw and finish it up with that. Some of these are thicker than others too, so uh, take it into account. Use safety when you do this, of course. This is one of our old cans from past years, and you can see how thin this one was. This one is one of those, more of those workhorses. There you go. So Art's over there working on getting the potato garbage cans cut up. I've almost got one bed weeded so far. That's where they're going to go. Oh, that looks good, Art. Do you have the potatoes? Yeah. We got a lot of potatoes. So these are just regular white potatoes from Aldi. I think this one's mostly gone. That one's really mushy. But this one looks fine. So we will, I don't know. I might cut them because they've already got roots Mom, and get more potatoes out of them. Right. Look at that. They're already growing little baby potatoes on them. Let's take three and see how far we can make these go. I'm going to put three in each bucket for now. Are you going to cut them up? No, I did three here. Why are we not cutting them? Because last time we cut them up, we lost 50% of our potatoes. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, Boink. two and three, and we're gonna cover these with more dirt. It's been about three weeks since we made our potato trash can planters, and I wanna show you how the potatoes are looking. We ended up doing eight trash cans. Two of them had the bag of rotten potatoes, which ended up not sprouting, which I wasn't surprised about, but the rest were from that one bag of sprouted potatoes. And you can see that these plants are doing phenomenal. They are just getting ready to flower here. We have already filled this can up once with compost, so we filled it up originally put those potatoes in and then let them grow once they started sprouting up about a foot We filled it up again with more compost and we need to actually fill this up one more time until it's right to the top You can see every can does a little bit differently. These were all planted the same day This one and this one also doing very well and those guys um, they're, You know, they're all right about that same area we do find that the black ones seem to actually do better and I don't know if it's because it retains the heat but whatever the case is if you have a choice I would go with the black cans because looking at all the potatoes here the black ones are definitely taller than any of the other cans and we'll just continue adding mulch until the mulch and the dirt reaches the top of the can and then just let the potatoes finish growing out in the cans until we're ready to harvest them. 
I hope this inspires you to try growing your own potatoes using some old broken trash cans. It works really well. It's a successful way when you don't have a lot of space to be able to still grow potatoes. I would love to see your results. If you've tried this method, please share your photos and tag me over on Instagram at parsnips and parsimony. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll see our final result later this year of how our potatoes did this year in these cans. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day and we'll see you for our next video. Bye.